Okay. Thank you. Thirty. Uh, birthday parties aren't at bars anymore. You have to have a cookout in your backyard. just finished up this truck behind me it is a 2012 GMC 2500 HD on some 40s and a 12 inch lift let's go check it out All right guys, so we're gonna start right up front with the wheels is what you guys wanna see. So these are a 26 by 14 black and milled Archon Caesar, super popular wheel, and we just got paid today. So I'm gonna take my whole paycheck out here. I got a crisp $50 bill we can do the bill test with. Looking like, look at that, all of that 50 and then some. It's about a seven inch lip, seven and a half inch lip on these bad boys. Obviously it's very super popular wheel. We love the Archons around here, wonder why. Uh, topped off with some black spike lug nuts in there because you can't have an Archon without spike lug nuts. Now we got this bad boy wrapped in this 395-45 R26 Fuel Gripper MT. Uh, so this in standard terms is a 40 by 15 and a half so that gives you your square sidewall there. And it is an MT but it's not a super aggressive, this, you know, Fuel really designed this to be more of a show tire than anything. And that actually helps the clearance even though this bad girl's got a 12 inch Cognito suspension lift in it. It's got all the bells and whistles. 
Cognito just goes above and beyond on these kits. Paired with some Fox Resi 2.0s in there, this thing is the top of the line as you can go for lift kits. You'll see it's got premium design, fabricated everything, beautiful powder coat, awesome angles. We're gonna take this thing for a ride later and see how beautiful this thing rides, but let's go through the rest of the accessories. Obviously up front to gain some clearance, we've got this Fab 4 bumper on here. She has some old amp steps on her. It actually had these when it came in. Anything's gonna help when you're trying to climb into a 12 inch lifted Duramax here. We got front match tint up here clearly not too dark. I mean, we got enough illegal stuff going on in this truck. We might as well not make it too dark. Come around back. We got the same Fab 4 bumper to match the front one. Again, these were on the truck before it came in here, but it definitely helps the overall look of the truck. Uh, Lawson, you're gonna get a nice shot down the side of how wide this bad girl is. So you're talking, I mean, a, a solid six inches outside the fender there, right? With a little bit more poke in the front, she's about eight inches out in the front. Now, this thing is also tuned and deleted because that's what you do with diesels. We're gonna go take it for a ride and see how well this Cognito kit rides. We're gonna get pulled over. I can't, I don't have my phone. Why do you need your phone? I have my phone. We'll do call you, somebody. No, do you have the GPS app? I need a GPS Speedo because the Speedo is way the fuck off. It's got 40s on it. I mean, we're, we're just pulling out of the parking lot, loss, and I'm not sure what you want me to talk about right now. Whatever you want to talk about. Whatever I want to talk about. I mean, when you're going to the 12 inch, 16 wides and 40, or 14 wides and 40s, brake upgrade wouldn't have been a bad idea. It takes a little while to stop, that's for sure. Tires are nice and quiet for being eight inches outside the fender. You really can't hear them, and that's because they're not super aggressive for being an MT. Like I said, Fuel made these as more of a show tire, more of a driving tire. You got the look, but not the sound. I mean, the city ride's pretty good. We got some, some terrible concrete roads up here in Wisconsin. I'm not sure if you know, but they're literally sectioned every six feet. And if you're riding in anything with like torsion bars or straight axle, it's like this all every six feet, no matter what speed you're going. And it's miserable. If there's one thing a truck on a 12 inch lift in 40s will get you, it's people looking at you, that's for sure. I like when you can see them go. All I can see is a little antenna in my rearview mirror from the car that's behind me. And that's on its roof. We're getting on the highway. This is literally the worst stretch of highway in Northeast Wisconsin. Yeah, it makes for a good testing grounds for our videos. Yeah, it's, it's great testing grounds. No, this is actually, this is very nice for what this truck, you know, as big as it is and as how bad this highway is. Like, the Super Duty on this highway was bad. And that truck rode phenomenal. Props to Cognito, because this thing rides really, really nice. Okay, changing lanes was a little, I shouldn't have done it that fast. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> we did not almost die. That was just, you got a little bit of body roll. You know, there's a lot of truck up in the air. It rides honestly better than a stock truck would on the highway. Like that was a big bump. And we just kind of, huh, that was nothing. Cars around us did not take that like it was nothing. You always hear great things about Cognito and to be honest, they are worth the money. The, you know, they are high priced, but the way these things look, the way they install, the way they ride after install, they've done their research. They're, they are worth what they ask. All right, guys, so that about wraps this up. Uh, it's been a while since we had a big truck like this come through the shop, so let's know if you want to see more of this. If you need wheels, tires, suspension, remember, customhouses.com. Get your build started today. Check you out on the next one. Peace.